Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is Chapter 10 of Catchers and Pit Pitchers and Catchers uh, Lessons Learned, uh, Baby Step Number 10. And what I wanted to talk to you today about is kind of like finalizing all of it, standing up for what you believe in, taking care of business, getting the job done, ending the game, ninth inning, two outs, you got one chance because if it's not a strikeout, it's going to be a home run type thing. Um, just love those kind of games and love that suspense and that drama. And, um, you know, you just decide what you're going to ha have happen and it happens. And just that magic, uh, the magic of the game sometimes is how I wanted to close this chapter. Um, and that can happen in real life too, um, everyday life. You can have strikeout after strikeout or, you know, for a pitcher, it's like walk after walk after walk or hit after hit after hit. Um, but when it comes down to it, you've got it inside you deep in your gut that says, I can do this and I'm gonna get this job done. And, and um, every turn, everything just kind of turns out well in the end. And um, so I'm thinking about, um, uh, oh, let's see here. I'm thinking in my personal life, you know, like big decisions, big, big ideas, um, big dreams, um, traveling, um, you know, going from different states or different countries and, um, getting out of my comfort zone, um, pushing, pushing the limits a little bit. And, um, but all that takes money and I have very little of that right now. And it's like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to hit it big or I'm going to, I'm going to get that, get that pot of gold at the end of the tunnel. Um, so <sighs> it hasn't happened yet, but I believe in it and I believe it's going to happen. And, um, I want new beginnings, best possible, possible outcomes, um, just this rebirth, this higher purpose, um, and yeah, like bringing it home, like you're rounding third, you're, you're ready for home and the pitcher, um, has the ball and he's going to throw it to the catcher and it's like, oh, is he safe? Is he out? What's, what's the umpire going to say? And bam, either it goes in your favor or not in your favor, but a lot of times it goes in your favor and a lot of times it goes out of your fa favor, but we got to just celebrate the game as, a, as what it is. It's, it's a great game. And this game of life is like that too. Um, every day you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to think, but you get prepared. You dig your ditches for the abundance to come. The rain, you know, if you prepare your fields, the rain will come. And um, so I like that excitement, that illumination, um, the, the um, invitation or the, you know, like solidification of new ideas and, and big ideas and grand plans and um, divine timing that God will provide for you if you're prepared inside for that, you know, for that thing that you receive. So I hope that made sense. Um, so these are the Healing Spirit Cards by Gordon Smith. And they look like this. They have this beautiful turquoise color. And this is the rosary with a beautiful turquoise color um, that's right with it. And, um, like I said yesterday on my other channel, um, the rosary kind of represents my mama. She, she's my, my real mama. And, uh, she put that back together for me. Um, and, um, you know, those beads were all broken into pieces. And something, somehow, some way, 
they all came back together 15 years later. And um, I take that as a gift, a gift for how my life is going to go. It's just going to come back together again. Divine, divine intervention will bring it back together. All right, so this says you have the ability to affect your own destiny. There you go. And let's read what that means. 41. You have the ability to change, to affect your own destiny. Only those who have overcome life's hurdles can order their own life with skill. Um, but when you reach a certain point in life, you must know that you can make appropriate changes when required. Guardian spirits have led you to this very moment when you feel equipped to take responsibility for your own actions. You are where you are supposed to be, and the next step on the path is yours. And the mighty guardian spirits are telling you that you are ready to handle this situation. This is an important moment in your life, so own it. So own it. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I was just talking about. You know, you just kind of like claim your power, your the excitement in your heart, um, the, the reality of, you know, if I prepare, for my fields to have rain, the rain will come. And maybe I'm getting ahead of myself by saying, oh, I want this and I want that, I want this and I want that. And it's not happening. Um, maybe I haven't prepared myself for that to happen by taking care of my, my space here in, in the house and getting rid of things that I don't need anymore and um, taking care of um, all kinds of, um, all kinds of things in my life that need to, you know, need, need to be adjusted before the rain will come. So, all right, that's the end of this chapter. We'll talk to you tomorrow.